I have another headlamp I want to share with you today. This time it is the Coleman Battery Guard 300 lumen version. If you're interested in hearing more about this budget light, keep watching. Before we begin, I just want to point out that this headlamp was not sent to me by Coleman for testing and review. In fact, it was given to me by a friend as a gift. But having used it for a while, I feel it's worth sharing with you as a budget headlamp that has some quite unique features. All right, so what we'll do as always, I'll take you down to the tabletop. We'll go over the flashlight, both in its physical and performance specifications. I'll show you how it operates, and then of course, we'll get outside and do some testing. So before we begin, I would normally show you what the flashlight came with, but really I can't. I've taken it out of the package. However, I do have a second one of these lights that I can show you what it looks like in its blister package. It will be going to someone else that I've been asked to give it to. So here is the Coleman uh, Battery Guard 300 lumen flashlight in its packaging. Just simple blister package as you expect. What's nice to show though is that it does come with three AAA batteries already with the light. You don't have to purchase them separately. So let's have a look at a few of the key features of this flashlight uh, right off of the top. So one of the things that makes this one stand out is a technology that Coleman has adopted into a number of their lights and it is called Battery Guard. And Battery Guard prevents the battery from being drained when the light is turned off. Now I know that sounds a little bit unusual but in fact a lot of devices even like those at home if they are plugged in they often will continue to drain battery because they sit in a standby mode ready to operate the moment you turn the on switch. But this one apparently uh, circles around that and, and, and as a result you save upwards of 25% longer battery life. So I think that's a kind of a unique feature. Now it does come with a three-year warranty, a limited warranty, and it does come in four different models. They have a 50 lumen version, a 200 lumen version, a 250 lumen version, and this one the 300 lumen version. All right, let's take a look at the or physical specifications for this light. So the weight, and that includes the head strap as well as the batteries installed, comes in at 3.6 ounces, which is 101 grams. The width, and there's where things get a little difficult because of the shape of it, but the width across this part here is three inch precisely, which is 75 millimeters. The height in this direction from top to bottom comes in at two inches exactly, or 48 millimeters. And the depth of it from the back to the front where the basal is one and one half inches, or 40 millimeters. Now, as far as performance specification go, it has a low of two lumens, which casts out to 10 meters and will last 200 hours. And it has a high of 300 lumens, which will cast out to 150 meters and last three hours. It does also have a red light and it has a flash mode. Now it is rated at IPX4 water resistance and that is to say resist splashes from any direction. It does also have an impact resistance of one meter. Now I'll talk more about the water resistance in a few meter minutes time because it was one of the few things that I saw some cons for in in uh, other reviews of this light. Operating the Coleman battery guard, it couldn't be any simpler. There is a slide switch on top, easy to access, easy to operate, turn it on and off. To change modes, there is a dot on the bezel that you rotate to line up with the mode that you're looking for. So right now it is set error to match up with the low mode. So if I turn it on, it comes on in the low mode. If I rotate the bezel, it'll go to the high of 300 lumens. If I rotate it one more notch, it goes to red, and I rotate it one more notch, it goes into flash. Simple to turn on, simple to turn off. The other feature that this flashlight has a tilt feature, so you start by just grabbing the, the back portion of the flashlight and tilt the basil forward. So you can come down 90 degrees. So that's really nice if you're working at hand, either on your knees doing some type of operation or want to read a book. You have a number of click settings 
that you can uh, move the basil through to light up your area. As I mentioned, it does have an adjustable strap, which is quite nice, actually. I like that this strap is not only adjustable, but that it has a wide range. So it fits my big head, and it will fit over a lot of people's heads, even when wearing a toque or beanie. All right, we're doing some nighttime testing for the Coleman Battery Guard 300 lumen model. Let me turn it the flashlight on. Now, now this is the low of five lumens. Really, there's only two light settings, the five lumens and the 300. Now, with the five lumens, I can see certainly around my feet, I would not attempt to navigate the paths here. Maybe you can see it flashing on the trees here. Let's turn it up to high. And that makes all the difference in the world. 300 lumens on this headlamp is easily as bright as I've got some flashlights at three times that lumens and they don't seem to penetrate as well as this or give me the flood that this does. So uh, kudos to Coleman for coming up with a nice bright headlamp. Let's just put it on red for effect. Now the, the effect for red for me is really just at my feet. I think the only use for red light would be in the tent uh, trying to see something without losing your night vision. But uh, one more is the SOS mode or flashing mode. I guess it's not an SOS. And that's pretty good. Back through red, high and low again. All right, before we close the video out, I just want to go over a few of the pros and cons for the B. Coleman Battery Guard 300 lumen headlamp. So there's a lot to like about this light. Right off the top, it is a high value light. You're getting a lot for your money. These are not expensive, and I know I've shown some expensive ones in the past, but I like that I was able to share with you something that is for those people who don't have the budget for an expensive light, there's still an alternative that will provide you good performance and good quality for a more reasonable price. So those are the things that I'll say plus about it. Now, the one thing that is a con, and I can't even verify this, is that it's been reported that this flashlight is not waterproof. Um, okay, let's start with by pointing out that this has an IPX4 rating, meaning that it is only resistant to rain or splashes coming from different sides. It's not the same as those lights that have an IPX8 rating that can resist water intrusion even when held under the water for a period of time. Uh, this is not like that, but I will say it is consistent with most of the headlamps that I've tested that it an IPX4 rating. I feel comfortable wearing this out in the rain. Having said that, I haven't had it out for an extended period of time in the rain, so what I'm probably going to do for myself is to take it out and just leave it on my steps in the rain and see if it impacts the performance of the light. If it does, I'll report that back to you. Now, what is the concern? Why do people feel that it might fail? It's simply because the battery casing area. So you pull the top or the back of it plate away from the body of the light and you reveal where the three AAA batteries are. I guess what I might have expected and other people complained wasn't there is there is no gasket circling around the frame or on the back plate that would keep it from uh, any water from getting in there. Does there have to be one there? Probably not, but uh, I guess the only way to find out if there has to be one there or should be one there is to put it out in the rain and see how well it does. Now, this is of interest, small thing, is the fact that the battery strap not only passes through that back plate of the light, but also through the body. So you won't accidentally have this open up and dump all the batteries out. So just a little bit of added security. Okay, overall, I think this is a high value light. If you're looking for something that you just want to have in your day bag and you don't want to spend a lot of money or your get, get um, bug out bag or whatever you want to call it, you don't want to spend a lot of money. This is well worth looking at. Okay, that's all I have for you today. If you have any comments or questions, put them in the video description below. I'll put what information I have on this headlamp in the video description as well. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.